Welcome back to the channel and I'm your host Coach Evans here with Sip the Salad Films. Today's video is going to key on B. Will, Brandon Williams. Uh, we've been on his case the last couple weeks about his uh, lack of production, lack of play. But um, this week, the man showed up and had 11 tackles. I didn't realize he had 11 tackles until I talked with Ken McCusick last night. Uh, I didn't look at the stat sheet because I was still kind of mad about the game. But B. Will had 11 tackles from the nose tackle position, which is, is crazy. Now, they're not... All of them are not like dominating tackles, but you see a good amount of domination, effort, and stuff like that. And for a nose tackle to have 11 tackles, I've never seen that before. I know it has happened before, but I've never seen it before. So let's get into this film with uh, B. Will from the Steelers game Sunday. Roll the intro. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you like what you see throughout this video, uh, subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when these videos drop randomly. And again, today's video is about B-Wheel. Let's get into it. We got Brandon highlighted right here. Uh, it's in the one technique position. Let's see what happens. Got that motion. Good leverage in position in his gap. Winning in his gap at the time. Now, if Najee was supposed to hit that hole, that hole is, is no longer an option. Now, he, and he's on the other side of the line of scrimmage. The only thing I think he needs to do now is press him out. Press him out. Now, with the way Najee cut back, 53, now the center for the Steelers now regains leverage. But what I like Brandon is doing, he's trying to cross his face. He was on the left look at him trying to cross his face. Only reason he doesn't come completely clean over there because of this this garbage up in here that's kind of banging into him. And I'm not calling the the person or the people garbage. I mean like the extra flow is keeping him from crossing the face. I'm I'm not saying either one of these players, Steelers or Ravens guys, garbage. But now, so Nodge is gonna eventually try to get back through that uh, initial through that same hole and watch Brandon cross 53's face again and get in the right spot. The only difference is now they're like three or four yards down, down the line of scrimmage. And that's his first tackle. And they got like three or four yards on that. But the fact he didn't give up leverage either way, he was two gapping, is what we need. We need a, we need a guy that can, can control both A gaps, which will allow them linebackers to run free. All right, next play right here. Brandon's highlighted. Trying to get double teamed. Now, what are you going to do to beat this double team? Old school coaches would tell you to, to uh, give one of them your back and try to grab grass and make a pile. But let's see what he does to try to split it. He drops his butt. Now they're coming off. They kind, they kind of won the double team initially because they got pushback on Brandon too. He's like a yard backwards. But now this guy comes off to go block Bynes. And initially this looked like the hole to be. Brandon's in that gap. That, you know, as a runner, I see this, I'm going to hit it. Cross face again. Look at it. Did a good job of crossing 53's face again. Get, get out of here, little boy. Good job of crossing his face and closing that hole. And making the running back go a different direction. And finishing the play. Him and Oway on the tackle. And again, they still got, keep in mind, they still got about three or four yards. But it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Being active. He hadn't been as active lately. All right, here we go with another play from B-Wheel. One take again. Try, 51 trying to down block him. Look like they're running some kind of counter. Are they running counter? Cross his, trying to cross his face, trying to find the ball. Look, look at his head. Watch his head bob trying to find the ball. I see the ball going that way, my head on that side. Trying to find it. Trying, he, he, he dipping and dodging, trying to find the ball. So that means he has complete control over 51. Because if 51 was moving him like, like he should, he wouldn't be able to, to press him and look both ways. He wouldn't be able to do that. Then cross his face again and find him, follow in and make the tackle. Follow in and make the tackle. And that one went for maybe one yard, if none. And then thing with, with this back, you got to get him down before he gets started. You got to. 
All right, on this play right here, you had a little yo-yo motion by the uh, receiver out here to kind of, I guess, give a tail on what the defense doing, but we focusing on, on Williams. Still, again, that one tech, got the center one-on-one, -on -one, or now it's a double team. 53 and 51 trying to double Williams. So now, what are you going to do to get rid of this double team? How are you going to beat it? You got to have multiple things in your toolbox. Anchors down. He drops his butt, drops his butt, and anchors down so they can't really move him. They really only moving back one step. Because if you see, right now his toes are on the, the whatever yard line that is, the, the clear strike, I mean the, the solid strike. Now with that double team, they've only moved him maybe a yard backwards. Maybe a yard backwards. Now they start to disengage. Look at that opening right there in the double team. That's your chance to attack. You got to attack that opening. Now I don't know if he's going to cross face or not, but seeing this right here, his chance to attack is right there. If they not hip to hip, they not hip to hip, you got to split them. If they, at this point, it's tough to split them. If they open it up for you right there, you got to split those guys. Now, he's doing, dan he, Najee's dancing and doing different kind of things. But now, look, he finally splits it. He finally rips through and splits it. He rips through and splits it, and then gets in on top of it. He didn't just get washed all the way back to the linebacker with that double team. Even though Bynes kind of got close to him, they're, what they're trying to do is block him all the way back to him. That's what they're trying to do. And he didn't allow that to happen. Split it late in the play, but was able to get in on the top. And speaking of splitting, let's look at Campbell real quick. Let's look at Campbell over here. They're going to try to double team Campbell too. I know this video is about Williams, but this is a little bonus. All right, he's trying to double team Campbell. He swims this guy. This is this is Campbell's arm on his back. He swims that guy. Throwing him by. And now he split. It's split. It's split. Textbook. Textbook. He didn't allow 77 to get on him. He swam over top of him. Got his arm free. Now he can work on 55. He grabs 55, 65 and kind of throws him out the way. Double team is split. Running back has nowhere to go. And then Queen's there to help out. Queens that help out. Good D-line play by B-Wheel and um, Clay's camp. All right, our next play. Got him highlighted again in that one take, over 53. That shade. Solo block by 53, and he just won. He just won. Let's see how he won. So initially, I'm thinking he has this gap based off alignment in the first couple steps. Coming down here, he, he sees the ball, crosses his face. Najee has to cut back because of that guy in his gap. And when he cuts back, when he jump cuts here, he jump cuts right into Will. It's a great D-line play. Great job of, of, of pressing this guy out, finding the ball, and crossing his face. So look, he, look, I don't know if you can see it right there. Brandon's arms are extended. So now all he got to do is just find the ball. He can do whatever he wants with 53. Whatever he wants. Good job. All right, this play right here is all about want to and uh, and hustle. And the reason I threw the shades on because I remember one of my fellow YouTubers uh, said he liked when I wore the shades on camera, so I picked them up and put them on. But this is all about hustle. Again, will be willing to shade. This run a little die. And really, they run they ran this play a lot. They kind of like base blocking. And let Najee just pick the hole to go to. They, that's all this this little dive play was. They base blocking and Najee finding the gap and trying to sprint sprint through, sprint through it. So he does a good job of controlling that gap. Queens coming here to fill that gap. So for the most part, we have gap integrity other than there, other than this right here. So I don't know if B Will's supposed to have both gaps, and but for some reason we have an open spot for open spot. Najee sees it, does a little cutback. And remember, this is Brandon right here now. That's Brandon. You got an open path. Now, Najee getting up here. Look at look look at me in pursuit. This wheel right here. Getting down the line. Getting down the line. Effort. Effort we hadn't seen from, you know, in a while. I appreciate it. Effort we hadn't seen from him in a while. I really appreciate it. 
I just play right here again. Uh, be willing to shade. They they got a lot of people over here on this right side. They got tight end, tight end, uh, fullback, the other white brother. Trying to do a little wham. You see the tight end trying to come back in there, try to wham whoever shows up in that gap, in the B gap, well, the A gap rather, and he should hit it right down here. That's what they're trying to do. But look at Williams. Williams is right there. Then just throw 53 out the way. Get your little butt out the way. That's grown man stuff right there. Get out of here. Now I'm face to face with the running back. Now all that's left to do is don't miss the tackle. Great job of playing defense right there, B Will. Great job. And this late in the game. After defense has been on the field a lot of snaps. He do he doing that to the center. Can't say this man ain't come to play Sunday. Cannot say that at all. I'm gonna keep it rolling. This is the last play, this is the very next play. Last play, the very next play. This is our guy right here. It's our guy right here. In coverage. In coverage, people. In coverage. That's D Will again in his in his shade, nose technique. They trying to slam it down and get the get the uh the backside guy out in the flats, who is 18. Trying to get him out on the other side. Now this is it's B Wheel right here now. It's B Wheel. This is the guy he gonna end up covering. He sees it away. He stopped going for it. I'm gonna head toward the ball. Now I don't know if he's supposed to drop back and he just read the play, but he sees this guy and he goes to cover him. And by him covering him, he I mean he makes the catch. But for maybe maybe he gets maybe one more yard afterwards. But if Will is not there, if Will don't come out of there and chase that down, just imagine, imagine he's not there. Imagine he's not there. Ben completes this ball earlier, and that dude kind of gritties to the end zone. Good job, B Will, man. Great job. Great job of this game. Sad to waste that effort on a loss, but a great effort indeed. I just hate we wasted it on a loss. So, um, with that being said, this is the first video of the week. Uh, Brandon Williams on his 11 tackles versus the Steelers. Uh, we got a live stream coming up for the whole first half at 8 o'clock tonight, so be sure to tune in for that. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming through. You could have been in anywhere in the world, but you chose to be with me. Uh, see you soon.